Some families are struggling to make ends meet. Yeah, and we know that is so true right now. Things are so expensive, and with that, the Salvation Army wants to make sure those families do have something to eat for the holidays. Joyce O'Geary was in Gresham earlier tonight, and that's where they served dozens of people. Joyce? The Salvation Army tells me that some families have to decide whether to put food on the table or buy gifts. That's why dinners like this one are so important. It's hard when you don't have a family to go to for Thanksgiving, and, and that this just makes up for it. This is the first year the Salvation Army in Gresham is hosting Thanksgiving dinner for the community. They have been prepping for this event for a month with the help of volunteers. That feels good to help people. There's so many people that are hungry out there and can't afford food, so that feels good to be helpful. There was turkey, gravy, and sides to feed 200 people. The organization says a lot of families have a hard time coming up with the money to buy a traditional Thanksgiving dinner this year. And it's heartbreaking to see families that come to us and say either I buy dinner for my family or I buy Christmas gifts for my kids. The Salvation Army is seeing more and more families that need help with food. Previous year we've increased 40% uh, because there's just so much need out there and we're averaging 70 to 80 families per day. A higher demand for their help calls for a higher number of volunteers. I want to give back to the community and, and it, things like this make me realize how fortunate I am and there's people less fortunate to help these people. It's, it's the best feeling in the world. Volunteers like Kathy started the day cooking with a purpose. It makes me feel good that I know that I'm feeding the community because there's a lot of hungry people out there and it just makes my heart warm and I could feed the people, especially the children. The Salvation Army in Gresham will continue to feed families. It will provide food boxes Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to noon. Live in Portland, Joyce O'Geary, Coin 6 News.